Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Right, so kindly unmute for me and uh, while at that, what do you make of uh, the dismissal letter? Fair, you think? Good afternoon. I, 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 I think that in as much as we have all agreed that the behavior of these girls uh, was taken... Mm. Unfortunately, your, your, your Zoom seemed to have frozen, like, but I'm sure that... There uh, was anything to write great. home about. I, we, I think that the punishment... Can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. Kindly go on. Yeah, I think that the punishment is too much for them. I think the GES and the ministry in recent years have been advocating for reformi reformative measures instead of uh, punitive measures. So in any time students do something that is contrary to their code of conduct, what the GES advocates is that students should be taking through certain measures that will not deform them but would rather reform them at the end of the day. I don't see how the dismissal is going to reform these girls. I don't I don't see how this re, 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 uh, dismissal is going to make them change uh, from or from what they they, they, they they were doing to 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 be better persons. I, I think that the the GES should have a second look at this particular punishment and and rather um maybe uh, a, 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 connect them to the guidance and counseling you need, let them go through certain exercises and certain processes for, let's say, two, three months to see whether they will be reformed. Then mm. after that, put them on probation in, in their various uh, respective education. We should not cut, cut short the education of these uh, young girls because of such uh, 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 indiscretion from their side. Right, and you would also know that this isn't the first time that you know some students have taken on not just the government, but prominent people and have used very unsavory words. In, in that regard, is society also failing at a, you know, in, in the entire value chain of helping children grow? Do you think even society is also to blame partly for the fact that the kinds of words being used against people in authority like the, the, the students did is not too isolated? We hear even adults use similar words. Where, where do you agree that society also has to take part of the blame, wouldn't you? Yeah, sure. It's, 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 it's a societal problem. I, I, I think that what our students do normally, I mean, the, kid, the children do, is a reflection of what we adults also do. And, and you, you are right. If you look at social media all over the place, it's people are insulting others here and there. Even though they, they disagree with them, they feel that the only way that they will be able to push forward their points it is, is to resort to insults, which I think is unfortunate. So this is something that is that is creeping into our society, and we need to take a step back and then look at how the this whole thing is 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 coming up. And I I, I believe that one of the ways that we can we, we can stem we can put an end to this is to check how we train our our, our kids in the schools. Mm. So we should use the school system to modify and reform our kids instead of trying to push them under the bus when they, they, they go away. Uh, yeah. I, I think that is not going to help at all. Right. And, and finally and briefly, you mentioned that they should be uh, directed to the guidance and counseling units of the various schools. How effective have these uh, guidance and counseling units been in many of our schools, especially the public schools? They have, they have not been effective. They, they, they don't have the needed resources and other things. So technically, they have not been effective. But I, th I, I think that if we want to resort to what have been, have been, have been, have been the, 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 the focus of the GES for some time now, then it means that we need to resource the guidance and counsel units and push some of these things to them. You definitely have students in your schools that, that, that are not conforming to the code of conduct and the rules and regulations. You mm. definitely have students who will go overward. You definitely have students who would who would do things that are unheard of. Do you yeah. have to always ask them to leave the education system and push them to the streets? Is that how we are going to build our society? So we yeah. need we need the guidance and counsel you need to be up and doing. And I think that if we want to do that, this this if we are able to do that, these cases that mm. we are recording in the schools, and this is not an isolated case. You go to schools and they tell you 
the kind of things that the kids are doing, it, right. it will marvel you. We mm. need to resource them and then let them take out some of these things and help reform our kids yeah. as, as they go through the education system. That sure. is the only way we'll be able to uh, mm -hmm. get them back on track and then make them productive to society.